morning. Oh, Hello and welcome back to the vlog. It's another wonderful day. It's a uh, day, is it? It's Tuesday. Tuesday? Tuesday. I don't know what day of the vlog it is. Uh, one, 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 one seventeen. Day one hundred seventeen of the vlog. I think it's day one hundred seventeen. Or is it day? Can't remember. Tuesday morning. Uh, yeah. I just this is like one of my first four days home in about uh, a week, and it's very nice. Very nice to be home. Yeah, I got back last night, and I've had quite a lot of stuff to do, so I haven't really had the chance to. Um, I don't know, like, to do stuff like unpack my bag. Still got to unpack my bag. Sucks. That sucks a lot. Not happy about that. I have a lot more plates there. I have a list. This is stuff I need to do. It's going to take me um, quite a long time. They're not like small things. It's not like eat food and go outside. Now, these, this is a long list of things I actually need to get done today because, um, yeah, I've, I've kind of had a holiday. Yeah, it was, it was quite a nice trip. Quite nice to relax about that. I'm very happy that I've done that. Going away with the family was also really nice. There was some, there was some really cool stuff. And um, also, um, there was some time so I could watch some films. Unfortunately, I didn't bring my dongle, so my adapter that connects my DVD player to my laptop, meaning that I couldn't watch the DVDs I wanted to watch. And the ones I brought were amazing. Like 500 Days of Summer, Citizen Kane, Parasite, 400 Blows, and Moonlight. I couldn't watch none of them. And then I was really annoyed. Um, actually really, really annoyed. I really wanted to watch basically all of them. So I watched some stuff on my mum's iPad. I actually watched Singing in the Rain. I love that film. Like, I, I, I had no idea how amazing it was. It's so, so good. Watch it. Watch singing in the rain. It's kind of, it's kind of got everything for everyone. All right, it's kind of got something for everyone. Why did I think that was a quote? As you can probably tell, I am um, absolutely. I'm not even awake at the moment. This is not even awake night. So I'm still like everything's purple and clouds everywhere. It's like dreamland. Um, so I'm gonna get some food and I got to start getting some of these things done. Otherwise, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm gonna have a bad week. If I don't. And I don't want to have that. I have quite a good week planned. Hopefully, it goes well. Crap, my head hurts. Crap, there's a hat I got from, from Berlin and uh, I absolutely love it, it's called an Ample Man and basically it's a, this is a signal in, in Berlin if you have to cross the road, you don't have to cross it if you don't want to but so that's their version of the Green Man. He looks quite strange, yeah I have my bag to unpack so I think I'm just going to do that. Filthy, go home chase and waterfall. I do need to organise my room because it is um, a nightmare at the moment. Here we go. I'm gonna have to start packing my stuff for uni now. Not now, as in now, but as in like soon, as in like today probably. That's gonna be sad. That's gonna be really sad. Oh my god, bless me. And that's it. Ow, I just hurt my elbow. It's all packed now. My desk is still a mess. Well, I can deal with for now. I can deal with that for now. So yeah, I'm uh, on Berlin. Um, it was a fun time. It's really fun time. Surprisingly, nothing really, really went wrong. We, Alex only lost his coat. That was kind of the, the only thing that went wrong. Um, it's a shame, but we're, we're just waiting to hear back if it's in lost and found. Um, obviously, if you're planning your own trip to Berlin, what I definitely suggest you should do. It's definitely one of the places that I think that everyone should visit at least once. Um, it is incredible. It's a, it's a lovely place. It's, it is a lovely place. We went for three nights. I think you could definitely do it for two nights. And, and you can walk fast. You could definitely do it in two nights. We did quite a lot of stuff when we went. The top three things I'd say you have to do in Berlin is definitely, number one is definitely the zoo. I'm not feeling cats today actually, I'm just gonna, this is fine. Um, number one, the zoo. Do the zoo. If you don't do the zoo, you haven't done Berlin. Do the zoo. Number two, TV tower. Very important. I'd definitely suggest doing it on the first night. It's kind of like a nice introduction. You can see the whole city and kind of get an understanding where things are. Number three, uh, definitely the cathedral. Not a lot of people that you know that you can go in it. It's like seven euros to do it. Like It's good for its money. Like You get your money's worth. It's like 22 euros and you get the zoo and the aquarium. Like Don't bother with sea life if you're doing the zoo. Um, other little tips that are just really quick and easy. Get a metro card. It's not worth getting a fine. We, we never got checked. It was a bit annoying. 33 euros for three days. No, it's, it's, no, it's very hard to do like Berlin in general without a metro card. You can get the train pretty much everywhere. And we used it all the time. It's so much cheaper than getting like individual trips. It, it racks up, it racks up. Know what station you need to get off at for your for your um for your staying. Uh, that's very important. Research where you're gonna get food from. But yeah, Berlin, it's quite hard to, to navigate at times. It's not as easy to 
find restaurants, kind of like any other European city, to be honest. London um, has a lot of chain restaurants, you know, like you have your Nando's, you have your Pizza Express. It, it, it's not really the same. Make sure you check not only reviews, but also check pictures as well. Because there's one night where we we're going to go to a restaurant, the reviews were great. We went there, turns out it's a cafe. It's uh, not great, but it's expensive. It's definitely not cheap out there. It's, uh, it's it's very expensive. I mean, as like for a city, it's kind of what you expect. It's a bit like London prices, um, maybe a, a tad cheaper. But no, I definitely suggest doing museums as well. Do museums as many museums as you can. Oh, it's a three D, three D. George, do you think three D YouTube will ever come out? Like we can do three D. Ah, ha 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 ha. Hi. Um. <laughs> As you notice, it's very dark at the moment. I do. I'm not going to apologise for it being dark. That's not my fault. I mean, if it, if it can be light, I'd like it to be light. But yes, it is the said evening of said day. I've had one of the most stressful days of my life. Um, so the new MacBook I got managed to pick it up today. It's downstairs. It's transferring over now from my like from my old one to my new one. I was on the call with Apple for over two hours and a half. I'm just, it was a nightmare. It was a nightmare. Uh, hopefully it works now. If it doesn't, I think I'm actually gonna break down and cry. Almost lost all my stuff. Like I have this, darling. I love him. It's gonna be a hard week. Like this is just another like stone in the road. So it's a very long one this week, lads. So prepare for a lot of mental breakdowns for the rest of this week. But because I feel like I'm going to um, break, I'm just going to end it here. I'm going to give myself a bit of time to chill. <laughs> so thank you for joining me today. Obviously, it's not been the same as normal. I'm still trying to get back into the swing of things. The swing of the, all the big swing, swing of things. But I promise by at least next week, it should be kind of semi back to normal before it's all going to go up in the air again. The days are just like the same thing and now everything happens at once. We're used to it on this channel. So if you want to see more of just... The, absolutely awful planning and just like a mess really if you want to see a mess make sure to subscribe it's quite enjoyable i need sleep <laughs>